Hi everyone, it's Charlie. We got a whole bunch of new Spider-Man, Venom vs. Morbius stuff to talk about. There are some crazy Sinister Six Easter eggs on the set of the Morbius movie that they're filming right now with Jared Leto. So I'll explain what this has to do with the Venom movie and the Venom verse that they're creating with Sony's universe of Marvel characters and how they're handling the Spider-Man of it all because there will be changes to his comic book origin the same way that Venom changed that comic book origin for the movie. You may remember that Morbius was supposed to be a character inside Wesley Snipes' Blade trilogy. This is actually the alternate ending to the first Blade movie where Morbius shows up on another rooftop. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the sunrise. I need to get back to the lab if I'm gonna cure you. It's over. You keep your cure. I've never felt better. Besides, as long as there's a war going on, I still have a job to do. Oh, yeah? Then you're back on the clock. The reason why they didn't wind up doing this is because the original director left before the sequel was made. Guillermo del Toro came on, he made his version of Blade 2, and there was no Morbius. So thus, Morbius did not exist inside the Blade series. I do Marvel Easter egg videos like this every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. It's only going to get crazier with Avengers Endgame at the end of this month and then Spider-Man Far From Home this summer. Way before the Venom movie came out, they planned on doing a Morbius film and a bunch of other big solo films for their bigger characters they felt like could turn into franchises. There's a Silk movie that they're working on, there's a Night Watch movie that they're working on, there's a Craven movie, and there's actually Craven stuff that's showing up during the Morbius movie. That's where we get to the Sinister Six of it all and all these Easter eggs that people have been seeing on the set of the Morbius movie. So Sony's using these films to world build the same way that it used Iron Man, Iron Man 2 to world build, building up to Avengers and their other big characters before they had the Avengers team up in 2012. There are a couple bigger villains that are debuting during the Morbius movie that I think will continue on to other team-up films. They're filming in Manchester, England, but they're making it look like New York City, so the actual plot of the movie will take place in Manhattan, New York City. There was a very notable Craven the Hunter food service truck. What the hell is going on with that? Is Craven now a food service person? Is this a front for his family's business that allows him to travel all over the world while he's hunting things because his real family business, his legacy, is passing on the hunt? But because we haven't seen Kraven in any of these movies, even in the MCU movies yet, even though they tried to put him in the Black Panther movie for like a brief second before Killmonger became the villain of that, it sounds like Sony's actually going to try and make their Kraven the Hunter spinoff. Or they're just laying groundwork, world building, to let you know that he exists and they haven't cast an actor yet and he'll just show up in somebody else's movie. Nearby, there was a Silver Sable beauty salon. There was going to be a Silver Sable spin-off movie that they were developing. There was a Black Cat Silver Sable team-up movie, but then they canceled plans for that and turned them into two different movies. So Silver Sable is going to be her own movie and Black Cat is going to be her own movie. They haven't cast any of those characters yet or announced release dates for any of those movies. So don't worry about them yet, but it's just more world building, letting you know that they're going to show up in the universe eventually. There's another sign here for the chameleon, quote unquote, theater, meaning that the chameleon is a character that's going to pop up in this universe eventually. Right now, he's a rumored character for Spider-Man Far From Home, but they haven't actually confirmed that. You look in the background here on this wall, there's some graffiti for Stan Lee's famous saying Excelsior. So I'm not expecting 10 huge giant characters and a whole bunch of Sinister Six people to show up during the Morbius movie. I think they're just slowly world building. But it does sound like Sony still wants to do their Sinister Six spin-off movie that they tried to do during the Andrew Garfield era. How many men did you have in mind? I want to keep it small. Everything you need is already at Oscorp. Access granted. Welcome, Mr. Fierce. Who's our first volunteer? Alexi Sitsevich, currently serving a life sentence. He is most eager to join us. Good. Start with him. You may remember that Drew Goddard was the person that was trying to work on that. He still said that he wanted to do it someday if Sony was still going to try and do it. But in the intervening years, he signed on to do the X-Force film with Ryan Reynolds and the Deadpool people. So it sounds like that will happen before we see him do any kind of Sinister Six team up movie. Hey, it's me. Don't scratch. Just cleaning up the timelines. 
There have been a couple of set videos from the Morbius movie. Like I said, it seems like right now they're filming the action scenes for the film after his transformation. It sounds like the version of the origin story that they're going with is sort of a combination of the original comic book story and the 1990s animated series when Morbius was a student at Empire State University. Crawford was right. I took her serum too soon. What are you up to? Parker's DNA I will expose to the neogenic process. Yes! No! no! I am like the vampire bat whose genes I have inherited. He debuted in the comics in Amazing Spider-Man number 101 in 1973. Remember, Dracula, vampires were huge in the 1970s, so Marvel wanted to get in on it. He was created by Roy Thomas and Gil Kane. They actually said that they wanted to do a Dracula-type character, but Stan Lee gave them the order that he wanted a costumed hero. So that's where they came up with the idea to turn him into a vampire using science instead of traditional supernatural means. He was named Morbius after Dr. Morbius in Forbidden Planet, but the character's face was modeled after Jack Palance, who in the 1970s, which is crazy popular. In the comics, the reason he becomes Morbius is because he has a rare blood condition that he's trying to treat. He uses vampire bats and electroshock therapy to try and cure his disease. That's what turns him into Morbius. The version that the movie is going with is very similar. He still has a degenerative blood condition, like you see these pictures of Jared Leto kind of hobbling his way on crutches, winds up using his treatment on himself, accidentally turning himself into a vampire. He didn't really run into Spider-Man in the comics until after he became Morbius and came to America seeking a way to cure himself of his vampirism. Kurt Connors winds up attacking him while in lizard form, and because it's the beginning of the six-armed saga and Spider-Man is starting to mutate, they actually come up with the idea that they might be able to cure their mutations, the lizard and Spider-Man, with some of Morbius's mutated vampire blood. There was a very brief planned crossover with Venom, Spider-Man, and Morbius in the comics for a miniseries, but the artists on the title just got into a bunch of arguments and they wound up canceling it. So you can kind of see how Morbius might wind up teaming up with Venom inside the Sony Venomverse to defeat Carnage or any of the other bigger villains that they surface, like the Sinister Six. When I get out of here, and I will, there's gonna be Carnage. The villain of this movie is going to be Crown from the comics, but it's going to be a Matt Smith, slightly different version of the character. So they're going to say that he used to be his friend, but in the comics, the Crown character really didn't cross paths with Morbius till way, way later. So Crown's origin in the movie will kind of dovetail with Morbius's. He'll have the same blood condition, go through the same transformation, and just be a more monstrous version of the Morbius character. It'll be like the Venom and Riot characters during the Venom movie. Much more evil, violent version of Morbius that Morbius then has to take down, take down his former friend. That is the ugliest looking thing I have ever seen. <laughs> There is a character called Emil Nikos in the comics who's Morbius's good friend who winds up being his first victim. They might give that backstory to Matt Smith's crown character. They're doing his love interest, Martine Bancroft from the comics. Pretty simple explainer there. I don't expect them to get too crazy with her character because they've already got all this other Sinister Six stuff that they're teasing. The other big characters in the movie you probably heard about are Tyrese's character. He's supposed to be playing an FBI agent. A lot of people wondered if he'd be playing Blade, but he's like, no, I am definitely not playing Blade in this series. So it sounds like Kevin Feige is still keeping that character in his pocket wherever he'll show up next. <laughs> but let me know in the comments, what do you think about all these Easter eggs and how long do you think it's going to be before they try to get Morbius in a movie with Venom? My guess is right now that unless Avia Rod comes out and tells us exactly when, that it's going to be well after the Venom sequel. Like it'll still be several years before you see them all in a movie together. I know you're all asking for more Spider-Man Far From Home stuff. There'll be more of that in and around Avengers Endgame, so no worries. And we'll do a new round of that IMAX ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on the video. WonderCon is happening this weekend, so there'll be a bunch of footage dropping. I'll try to do as many of those videos as possible. But click here for all my Easter eggs from that brand new Avengers Endgame trailer. And click here for my Avengers Endgame post credit scene video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.